welcome to the project demonstration of uh, grid connected photovoltaic system so here uh, this is the pv system photovoltaic system and the output of this solar panel is given as the input to this 12 volt 2 amp battery pack through the stages like first is the charging controller the charge controller and the output of this charge controller is input to the voltage sensor to measure the solar panel voltage and based on that voltage our microcontroller so there's nothing but Arduino you know will uh, control this bug boost converter so here uh, whenever the voltage is less than the 12 volts and greater than the 8 volts then this bug boost converter will act as a boost converter to maintain around of 14 volts so which is sufficient to charge our battery and whenever the uh, solar panel voltage is coming greater than the 15.5 volts then this bug boost converter will act as a bug converter so that in order to maintain the MPPT this is nothing but maximum power point tracking so in our project we are using the MPPT method of constant voltage method so that we are maintaining the voltage is constant and the current is going to be the maximum then uh, the voltage and current will get the maximum power so why uh, what is the purpose of this MPPT in generally when you are using the solar panel and any uh, renewable sources so though we are using the 12 volt 10 watt solar panel the output of this solar panel is in uh, when we place it in uh, full sunlight then it will provide maximum of 18 volts so it will provide the more than uh, 16 uh, volts so when your uh, voltage is increasing in order to maintain the 10 watts of power the current will be decreased so we will getting the around of 20 watts only but the voltage is more and the current is less so in order to maintain the maximum power by controlling the voltage to 16 and 15.5 volts then we will get the maximum current at a maximum voltage so parallelly we are getting the maximum power so for that purpose we are making use of this Arduino you know along with voltage sensor to track the voltage and to do the bug operation to that so parallelly we are getting the maximum power from after this bug boost converter so on this bug boost converter we have the stages like switching circuits and the charging the discharging purpose inductor so which is of 200 micro henry and capacitor is 2200 uh, microfarad of uh, capacity ratings so when you want to do the bug operation then uh, the on time to this MOSFET will be decreases so that's the output voltage will be decreases than the input voltage so when you are going to do the boost operation then we need to increase the on time to this uh, MOSFET then uh, we will getting the more voltage than the input voltage that's a boost operation so we are using IRF Z44N as a MOSFET for switching purpose so the output of this uh, bug boost converter is input to this battery directly so coming to this battery pack so it has a six batteries in that three batteries are in series three batteries are in series and these two battery packs are in parallel so we will get 12 volt 2 amp so one battery pack is 12 volt 1 amp as one battery is a 4 volt 1 amp so these three are in series so we will get 12 volt uh, 1 amp and this three are in series 12 volt 1 amp so parallelly connected so we will get the 12 volt 2 amp so here we are providing one more source of charging for this battery as if there is no sunlight is available during the night times if you want to charge a battery then by making use of this transformer we can charge a battery just connect this transformer to the 230 volts AC input so transformer will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC so that is input to this charge controller so which will convert the AC to DC and the capacitor will make that DC as a smooth DC and that is the output to this uh, battery so coming to this charge circuits on the solar section we can see the same four diodes so here are also four diodes so these four diodes will act as a rectifier in this section when we are providing AC inputs and but in the solar section these four diodes will act as a polarity corrector means if we uh, uh, connect this solar panel in reverse direction means plus to plus minus to minus not not my plus to minus minus to plus if you connect that then this rectifier circuit will rectify that plus to plus and minus to minus the output of this is going to be the plus to plus minus to minus if we connect in reverse direction also it will be rectified that and that is the output to this battery through this uh, diodes the diodes will act as a controlling circuit whenever the battery is getting fully charged so then this will become uh, this battery will become the high potential one and the diodes will block the current flow from the battery to the solar panel or to the transformer and this both charging circuits so this is the voltage uh, sensor so it has the uh, two resistors so there is a one kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm so why because our controllers Arduino you know can measure the voltage of maximum 5 volts because the operating voltage of you know is the 5 volt only 
so for that purpose we need to uh, do the potential divide circuit to make this 12 volt to less than the 5 volts so here uh, this uh, 10 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm will do the 10 is to 1 ratio means when uh, the old solar panel voltage is 12 volts the output of this voltage sensor is 1.2 volts but in our you know board we will read a logic we will write the logic of multiply with the 10 of this input voltage uh, from this voltage sensor so we will get the 12 volts output and that will be displayed on this 16 by 2 lcd screen directly and after this so this is the a photovoltaic system charging was done successfully with the help of MPPT and bug boost converter. So if we want to connect that to the grid, so then we need to provide the 230 volts AC output from this uh, circuit and to connect to the grid. So for that purpose, we are making use of this CD4047 uh, IC based inverting circuit, so which will convert the 12 volts DC to the 12 volts AC output to this center tap transformer of step up. So which will take 12 volts AC and provide us a 230 volts AC output. So in this circuit, so CD4047 is a dual timer which can generate the 50 Hz pulses based on the input from this potentiometer. So this potentiometer is used to set the frequency. So we set this frequency already and the output is given as gate pulse input to this two MOSFET that is IRF Z44. So here <coughs> the IRF Z44 purpose is these two MOSFETs are act as a switch between the battery to the transformer. So the pulse is given as input to this MOSFET. The MOSFET will switch the 12 volts DC to 12 volts AC with 2 amps of current. So that will be step up to the 230 volts AC directly. Okay. And here we are using the Arduino you know, to control the input solar panel voltage and output bug boost converter. So the bug boost converter pins are connected to the pin number H and the solar panel voltage measuring circuit sensor is connected to the A0 and LCD connected pin number B2 to B7. So this is all about the components and uh, work explanation. Let us see the demonstration. Let's connect the solar panel at this S slot. So the S should be connected to the S slot. Now leave that. Place this solar panel under the sunlight and this is the main on off switch. On, off, on. So now welcome message will be displayed on the LCD screen and after that so due to this low lighting the solar panel voltage is 0 .0, uh, 0.82 volts and the duty cycle so when we want to controlling that uh, this bug boost converter so this is going to be the 255 is the maximum level so whenever the voltage is greater than the uh, so called voltage of solar panel that is greater than the 15.5 so then this duty cycle comes down to reduce the voltage so here we can see the small light intensity from this charge controller circuit. So if you want to utilize that battery voltage to the inverter, so then just on that. So we can utilize. And so if I place any lighting on this solar panel, we can see the voltage increasing and parallelly we can observe that duty cycle is comes down. So in order to maintain the maximum power point track. So in this manner, we are going to get the maximum power from the photovoltaic system and that is sufficient to charge a battery in less times and we can utilize that to the grid purpose to the AC loads directly and this is the inverter on off switch.